The pomp and ceremony of the coronation of King Charles III and Queen Camilla was astonishing. 9,000 troops were involved in the procession. The extravagance of this affair cost more than $125 million. The king and queen were taken to Westminster Abbey, not on the gold stage coach, which was worth only $2.5 million. That wasn't too comfortable anyway. But rather on the diamond jubilee stagecoach, worth upward of $4 million. Charles was coronated with the St. Edward's crown. That crown weighs five pounds. It's made of 22 karat gold. It's worth $57 million. It has 444 gemstones. 345 rose-cut aquamarines, 37 white topazes, 27 tourmalines, 12 rubies, 7 amethysts, 6 sapphires, 2 jargoons, 1 garnet, and 1 carbuncle. He was presented with the sovereign scepter, a gold rod featuring the Cullinan One Diamond the largest clear-cut diamond in the world. It has 33 additional diamonds, 15 emeralds, seven sapphires, and other gems worth $400 million. He was given the sovereign orb, a hollow sphere with a band of gemstones worth $2.5 million. He was given the sovereign ring that has sapphire, rubies, diamonds worth 350,000 pounds and he was clothed. He donned the robe of state worth 37,000 pounds. And what does this have to do with the Jewish people? This was a very important event. The Gemara tells us in Mesechta Brachais on Davtes Hamid Beis, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, La'oilam yishtadel adam la'rotz likras malchei Yisrael One should run to see Jewish kings, but not only Jewish kings, even to see Gentile kings. Because if we will merit to be around in the times of Mashiach, we will be able to see the distinction between the Gentile kings and King Mashiach because the majesty and the sovereignty and the grandeur of the Melech HaMashiach and the grandeur and the majesty of all of Israel, of all of the Jewish people, will be far greater, far more magnificent than the grandeur of any Gentile king. So, we wish King Charles happiness and health in his reign, but he should serve as a paradigm to help us extrapolate that if this is the majesty of the reign of the Gentile kings, then this will inspire us to yearn for the Melech HaMashiach, whose grandeur, whose majesty, whose pomp and ceremony will be far greater, reflecting the greatness of the Jewish people in the coming of the Mashiach. And when we say every Friday night, Isnari me'afar kumi, shake yourself off from the dust, Live she big day sefar techami don the majestic clothing of your people al yad ben yishai be salachni through the coming of Mashiach. Let us yearn for the coming of the Melech Mashiach. Shayavai, the Mehir of Yamenu. Amen.